Today, I'm putting Ohio's best college football teams up head-to-head. -head. I'm putting these teams into an imperialism battle royale. Here are the rules. Also, before I get into the rules, shout out to Dean's World for the awesome idea. However, I do have a unique aspect to this video that is unlike any others. I want to make this simulation as realistic as possible, therefore I will be implementing a new mechanic to this game. But before I get into that, let's go over the basic rules. Each round I will select a team at random. Then using that team, I will choose a random direction for that team to attack in. Based on the team's location, wherever that direction is pointing is the team that they will play. The attacking team will be away, and the defending team will be the home team. Now here's where my new rules come into play. Unlike these other simulations, being big had no advantage in the simulations. However, in my simulation, being big will give you an advantage. Basically what that means is if you conquer other teams' territory and you win your match, you will have a higher chance of taking all of the land. However, if you are a strong team and a smaller team beats you, they are not guaranteed to take all of your land. If this doesn't make sense now, don't worry, it will make sense during the video. Without further ado, let's get right into the imperialism. Here we go guys, we have the 8 Ohio teams in this wheel, let's go ahead and spin the wheel for the first time and see who will be attacking first. Spinning the wheel here guys for the first time of this tournament, who is going to be first and it looks like it's going to be Miami, yes it's going to be Miami. They will be attacking to the southeast. Looking on our map guys, it looks like they are going to be playing Cincinnati, let's go ahead hop right into this game. Since Miami is attacking Cincinnati, they are away and Cincinnati is home. This has been a very close game, a lot closer than I expected I'll be honest. Honest. Miami has the ball here guys they need a touchdown here and a two-point conversion if they want to tie up the game and that is not looking good it is fourth and 17 Cincinnati just sacked Miami's quarterback for seven yards they're gonna have to go for it here there's only one minute and 30 seconds left in the game Cincinnati is up by eight points and they do not get the first down and that is a turnover that was a crucial turnover guys and I think Cincinnati can get the win here if they can get any sort of points it doesn't matter if they get a touchdown here because they're gonna be able to run out the clock looks like Miami was taken down by Cincinnati let's see how much land Cincinnati will gain from Miami we are using the default wheel on this one because they both are equal on the map right now let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see how much land Cincinnati will be taking from Miami it looks like they will be taking only 25% so guys Cincinnati is now taking 25% of Miami's land. Cincinnati took over 25% of Miami. Let's go ahead and find out our next matchup. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel again guys. Who will be the second to fight? And it looks like it is gonna be Toledo. Now Toledo will be attacking to the east. They are gonna be attacking Akron guys. Let's go ahead and load this matchup in NCAA 14. This has been a very close game guys. Toledo has the ball. They need a touchdown here to tie up the game. Let's see if they can get the touch on guys, and it's not looking so good. It is third and 12. Akron are the underdogs of this matchup. Ooh, but it's fourth and 12. They're gonna have to go for it. This is looking very risky for Toledo right here, but they have no other option. They're gonna run the ball. That's questionable. I don't know, and it's a turnover, guys. Ooh, Akron gets a huge run right there. They get the first down. It's not looking so good for Toledo. This was a close game, but Akron is going to be able to run out the clock here, guys. Let's go ahead and see how much Akron will take from Toledo. We're using the default wheel, guys. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. See how much land Akron will take from Toledo. This was an upset, and it looks like, ooh, that was close to 100, but it will be 25%. It is time to update the map, guys. Toledo doesn't have much land as it is, and Akron will be taking 25%. Here is the updated map, guys. Akron just took 25% of Toledo. Let's get into our next matchup. I'm going to spin the wheel guys. Let's see who our third matchup will be This is turning out to be an awesome tournament and it looks like it's gonna be Ohio Ohio will be attacking to the west and it looks like they will be attacking Cincinnati. This will be a good game Let's hop right into this this game turned out to be a total blowout guys Cincinnati blow Ohio Let's go ahead and see how much land they will be taking from Ohio. This was a great game by Cincinnati I'm going to be spinning the default wheel here guys because Cincinnati is not much more powerful spinning the wheel guys let's go ahead and see how much land cincinnati will be taking from ohio Ooh, and this is a big hit to ohio guys 75 percent cincinnati is about to get 75 percent of ohio this is not going to be looking so great for ohio after this here is the updated map cincinnati is by far the most powerful right now guys in terms of territory let's get right into the next matchup spinning the wheel guys let's see who will be playing next and it looks like it will be miami once again they are looking for redemption here guys after losing to cincinnati and they will be playing to the east. Oof. I'm sorry, Miami, but you have to go up against Ohio State. Guys, take a look at these stats. This is going to be a rough game for Miami, most likely, but you never know. 
we'll see you guys. I'll be honest here guys, this game was closer than I thought it would be. Miami was actually still in this game by the first half, however by the second half, Ohio State started to take over. So Ohio State is going to obviously get the win here guys, let's see how much land they will take from Miami. Spinning the wheel here guys, how much land will Ohio State take from Miami and it looks like they will be taking, is it 25%? Ooh, only 25%. Miami is getting lucky here guys, they have only given up 25% on each round. Here's the updated map guys, Ohio State just took 25% from Miami, let's get on to the next matchup. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel guys, who will be playing next, and it looks like it will be Cincinnati, wow, it's Cincinnati's first time attacking guys, let's see, and they will be going northeast, and well, that looks like it's going to be Ohio State, this is going to be another great game. I think Ohio State got it here, but we'll see. You never know. I mean, it's safe to say that probably none of us were expecting the score right now. Cincinnati is somehow in the lead. They're punting it though. Ohio State has another chance of getting back in this game. I'm so confused right now. Ohio State has to work their way down the field, guys. They have a minute and 38 seconds left in the game. This really goes to show that anything can happen in these tournaments, guys. Cincinnati is up by seven points. It is third and five, guys. Can Cincinnati's defense get a stop here, or will Ohio State get the first down? Oop, and they get the stop. Fourth and five. Ohio State is going to have to go for it here. Ohio State needs the first down here, guys. And it looks like, oh, they were just close. It is a turnover. Cincinnati gets the ball. Cincinnati is going to get the win here as they're going to be able to run out the rest of this clock. That was a complete upset. I was not expecting that. Let's see how much land Cincinnati will be taking from Ohio State. Let's go ahead and see how much land Cincinnati will be taking from Ohio State, guys. And it looks like they will be only getting 25%. Cincinnati somehow got the upset there. Let's go ahead and update the map. Here's the updated map, guys. Cincinnati is somehow taking over this map. Let's go ahead and see our next matchup. Spinning the wheel, guys. Let's see who will be playing next. And it looks like, will it be Ohio State? They want some revenge. It's going to be Ohio State. Ohio State is angry after that loss. So they will be attacking to the east. They will be playing Akron. Pray for Akron. This could be a blowout. I think it's safe to say that this is what we were expecting. Even though it's not as big of a blowout as I thought it'd be. Ohio State is going to get the win here. Let's see how much land they will take from Akron. Ohio State gets the win there, guys. So let's see how much land they will be taking. And it looks like, oh no. Is this 100? Is this 100? Oh, Ohio State just took out Akron, guys. No way. That was about as close as it possibly could have gotten. Everyone, say goodbye to Akron. Ohio State is gonna be getting a huge pickup here. Well guys, it's safe to say, Cincinnati and Ohio State are now the biggest on the map. Let's go ahead and find out our next matchup. Akron was the first to be eliminated. Let's see who will be playing next. We still have two teams yet to have play. And it looks like Toledo will be playing. Toledo will be attacking to the Southwest. It looks like Toledo will be playing Bowling Green. It is their first time being in this tournament. Let's get this game underway. I cannot make this up guys. Bowling Green was up by 21 in the first half and Toledo has scored three unanswered touchdowns in a row to tie up the game. This is an insane game. Oh, Toledo almost got the interception there, guys. Bowling Green, in their first game, wanted to prove a point that they would be a strong force in this tournament. However, they let up three touchdowns. They need a solid drive here. They're going to have to punt the ball now, guys. Toledo's defense stopped them. Toledo has a chance to win the game here. I cannot believe what's happening here, guys. It is crazy. This is one crazy game. That is a solid run by the quarterback. Toledo going to go ahead and pass the ball and that was out of bounds. As long as they get in field goal range and are able to take down the clock, I think they can get the win here, guys. And it looks like it's gonna be third and seven. As long as they can get the field goal, guys, that's what matters. They're gonna try and run down the clock here. Surprise, Bowling Green did not call a timeout there. It looks like, oh, they might get the first down. No, but they're short. Toledo just got a flag called on them. This is not looking good for them. It is fourth and seven and they are going for it. That was looking so good for Toledo. I don't know what they're doing right now. And they don't get the first down. This is a turnover. I have no words for what this game is turning out to be. This game is going to overtime. Bowling Green has the ball first in overtime. Let's see if they can get a touchdown. Both defenses have been doing very well this last half. Now guys, it is third and 14. Not looking so good for Bowling Green. Toledo is doing some stellar defense. Get the pass off, but it is no good. They're going to go ahead and kick the field goal here, guys. Bowling Green gets the field goal. Can Toledo get a touchdown? Toledo needs a touchdown here, guys. They need some solid yards. Looks like they're going to pick up five yards. So far, already better than Bowling Green's drive. Let's see if they can get something happen here. It looks like they're going to get the first down. The running back's going all the way. 
Ooh, that is a solid pickup right there. First and goal, guys. Can Toledo get a touchdown here? Can Toledo clutch up and get the comeback? And it looks like they're gonna get the touchdown, guys. Toledo gets the touchdown. I cannot believe that game right now. Toledo just came up back from a 21 to nothing lead and won the game in overtime. Well, guys, I don't know if Bowling Green deserves to stay in this tournament after that, after a 21 point lead blown, and it looks like they're not gonna stay in this tournament, guys. This whole round is turning out to be insane. I cannot make this up right now. Toledo just eliminated Bowling Green in their first round. They blew a 21 point lead and lost in overtime. I think they kind of deserve that. What do you guys think? Here's the updated map, guys. Let's move on from this crazy round and get on to the next one. Well, Bowling Green is out of this tournament. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel, guys. Who will be playing next? It looks like it will be Ohio State. Ohio State will be playing to the south. It looks like they'll be rematching against Cincinnati. They're gonna want some revenge here after losing. Well guys, this has been another very close game. I don't know how Cincinnati has been able to do so well against Ohio State, and they have the ball again, guys. They have a chance at winning this game. Ohio State is only up by six points. Cincinnati can get a touchdown here. They could win the game. Time is running out, however, and Ohio State, ooh, they sack the quarterback for six yards. Cincinnati is gonna have to go for it as they have no other option. If they don't get the first down here, I think Ohio State has the win. It looks like they're gonna run the ball and they are not gonna get it and that's gonna be a turnover. Well guys, I think Ohio State can get the win here. However, Cincinnati still has all three timeouts, so we'll see. Ohio State is gonna be able to get the first down here and get a solid pickup. Guys, I think this game's over. That's gonna do it for this game. Ohio State ends up winning the game. That was close though. So guys, Cincinnati and Ohio State are very close in terms of territory on the map, so we will be using the default wheel. Let's see how much land Ohio State can take from Cincinnati. It looks like, oh no, oh, 25%, guys. I thought that was gonna be 100%. Ohio State will be getting only 25%. To be fair, that is still a very good pickup for Ohio State, as Cincinnati is huge. Here's the updated map, guys. Ohio State is now the biggest on the map. Let's get right into the next matchup. Who will be playing next? And it looks like it is gonna be Kent State for the first time this tournament. Kent State is finally looking to get in on the action and they will be attacking Southeast. Kent State might just be out the first round because they are playing Ohio State. However, you never know with this tournament. What did we expect here? Ohio State is gonna get the easy win over Kent State. Ohio State has a chance of first rounding Kent State here, guys. Let's go ahead and see how much land they will be taking. It is the first time the powerful wheel will be used during this tournament because Ohio State is so much bigger and more powerful on the map in terms of territory than Kent State. We will be using this wheel. So Ohio State has a possibility of first rounding Kent State here, guys. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see if Ohio State will be taking over completely and it looks like they will guys this is not good for Kent State as they get eliminated the first round Ohio State as expected is starting to take over bye bye Kent State well that's sad guys but Ohio State won that fair and square so let's get on to the next matchup Kent State gets eliminated in the first round so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see who will be playing next and it looks like Toledo will be playing again they will be attacking to the southeast to me, that looks like they will be playing Miami, so Toledo will be going up against the Miami Red Hawks. This has been a very close game. Miami made a slight comeback here, and they have the ball again. If they score again, I think they have a good shot at winning this game. They can get a touchdown, especially. This was a very good matchup, though, guys. These teams are both equally rated. Looks like the offense is not doing so well, however. Toledo's defense always seems to clutch up in good situations. They're going to run the ball again. And it is going to be a fourth down stop, fourth and ten. They're going to have to punt the ball, so Toledo does have a chance here. Toledo has a money drive here. They are going to need something big. One minute and 41 seconds left in the game. Sending the ball deep down the field, and they connect with the pass. Wow, guys, that was a huge pickup. They needed that. They're only down by one field goal right now, but they need the touchdown to win it all. Quarterback is going to run the ball, and he's going to go far. That is a good game. Toledo is able to make the way down the field very easily this game. There's one minute left in the game, guys. Toledo is almost to the Miami end zone. They do not get the first down, however. Oh, and he fumbles the ball. Oh, but they recovered it. So Toledo rec recovered the fumble, and it is third and six. They need the first down here, guys. You pass it right into the end zone. What a pass, 23-yard touchdown reception. Wow, guys. Toledo had a perfect drive right there. Kicking the extra point, and it is good. It's not looking so good for Miami. They will need a touchdown to win the game. Even a field goal wouldn't win them the game, so they need something desperately here. Will they be able to do as well as Toledo on their last drive, or will they not get the touchdown? Going for a pass, they connect the pass, but it was only four yards. It's third and six, they have to get the first down here. Oh, and the quarterback gets sacked for eight yards. I don't know, this is not looking so good for Miami. Fourth and 14, they have no other, no other option other than to go for it. Oh, good pass, however, that is not gonna be enough. 
And Toledo is gonna get the win here, guys. Let's go ahead and see how much land they will be taking from Miami. So guys, it is now the second time the powerful wheel has been taken out during this tournament. Toledo is much more powerful in terms of territory than Miami, so they will be able to use the powerful wheel. Can Miami stay in this or will they be taken over by Toledo? And it looks like, oh no guys, Miami is out of this. Toledo got the win here over Miami. Let's say goodbye to Miami and say hello to our new map. We are now down to the final four guys. This is turning out to be an awesome tournament. It's the final four guys. Let's spin the wheel. Who will be playing next? And it looks like it's gonna be Toledo once again. Toledo will be attacking to the southwest. That looks like they will be playing Cincinnati in the next matchup. This will be a good one. Look at the score right now, guys. Toledo is beating Cincinnati by a lot. Toledo is somehow gonna get the win here, guys. This has been a crazy game. Toledo got the upset, guys. I was not expecting that. Let's see how much land Toledo will take from Cincinnati. We are gonna be using the default wheel here, guys, as they are both equal in territory. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel, and it looks like Toledo will be taking 50% of Cincinnati. Toledo is becoming a powerhouse on this map guys let's go ahead and readjust here's the updated map guys toledo is somehow doing very well let's go ahead and get on to the next matchup ohio has not played in forever guys they are somehow still in this let's see if they will be playing and oh my gosh ohio will be playing guys ohio is only bordering with ohio state so therefore they will be playing ohio state like expected guys ohio state is gonna get the win here let's go ahead and see if ohio state can eliminate ohio we are bringing out the powerful wheel guys can ohio stay in this or will Ohio State take them over? Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and find out. It looks like, oh no guys, Ohio looks like they're gonna be eliminated by Ohio State. We are now gonna be down to the final three after this. Ohio State just took over Ohio and now we are down to the final three. Ohio State, Toledo, and Cincinnati. Spinning the wheel for the first round of the final three. Let's see who we'll be playing and it looks like it's gonna be Ohio State They're looking to end things once and for all Ohio State will be playing to the south That means they will be playing Cincinnati Ohio State is gonna get the win over Cincinnati However, Cincinnati could get another touchdown here. Let's see guys Cincinnati's going for a pass, but it looks like he's gonna be sacked for eight yards going for the pass It's third and 18 guys. Let's see if Cincinnati can do it and no looks like Ohio State is gonna get the win guys Let's go ahead and see how much land they will be taking from Cincinnati. Well guys, if you take a look at the map, Ohio State is much more powerful than Cincinnati in terms of territory. Therefore, they will be using the powerful wheel. Let's go ahead and spin this thing. Will Cincinnati be eliminated by Ohio State? Let's see. It looks like it's gonna be close, but no, Cincinnati just got eliminated by Ohio State. Cincinnati had a good run, they made it to the final three, but Ohio State just took them over. Well guys, I guess we're down to our final two, and I would have never guessed this, the final two. Toledo is still in this, guys. Final two is Ohio State versus Toledo. Toledo is putting up one heck of a fight. I cannot believe how close this game is right now. They do not want to be eliminated. However, Ohio State is up by one field goal, and they're about to get another touchdown. We'll see if they can get the touchdown or a field goal. That could seal the game for them. Let's see if Ohio State can make this happen or if Toledo can get a solid stop. Oh, it looks like Ohio is going to almost get the first down there. Let's see if the Buckeyes can get the first down here, guys. And it looks like they're going to get the first down. This is not looking so good for Toledo. Unfortunately, guys, I think this will result in a Toledo loss. Unfortunately for Toledo, guys, the underdogs of this tournament, I think this is going to be an Ohio State victory. We will see though, things can happen, but I don't know about this one. Ohio State will be able to run out the clock here as Toledo has used all of their timeouts. Ohio State's gonna go ahead and kick the field goal here, guys. They are also gonna be able to run out the clock here completely. And the field goal is good. Toledo put up a solid fight. Let's see if Ohio State can eliminate Toledo in one round, or will Toledo survive? Okay guys, this could be the last wheel spin of the video. Will Ohio State take it all? Let's go ahead and see. And it looks like, oh boy, this is going to be close. Oh no, and it looks like Toledo will be eliminated. Here we go, guys. One last look at the final two before Ohio State takes over this whole map. Well, there you have it, guys. Ohio State is your victors. They took over the whole entirety of Ohio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for Michigan next.